Hi, I'm Brent Peterson, author of the new novel Truffle Hunt, available on Eckhart's Press. We're going to be exploring some truffle recipes in this video series, some very fancy, some very simple. First one we're going to be looking at is a truffled macaroni and cheese. This one you can make for up to 6, 8, even 12 people if you like, and it's really inexpensive to make. So let's jump in, take a look at the recipe, and I think your friends are going to love it. First you want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees and prepare all your ingredients. You'll need a one pound box of pasta, elbow macaroni is fine, but I think shells work even better. 10 ounces of cheese, a combination of Gruyere and Fontina works best with a little Parmesan, but any melting cheese. Two cups of milk, two tablespoons of flour, salt, pepper, and a, a little bit of truffle mushroom puree. Take your butter, melt it in a saucepan, and whisk in two tablespoons of flour. Make sure you incorporate that completely before you add in your two cups of milk. Whisk that in, and then you can add your cheese. Just add a handful at a time. Don't add it all in at once, otherwise it'll turn into a gloppy mess. At this point, you can drop your pasta into the boiling salt water. Let that cook for about eight minutes or so until it's al dente, and then you can take it out and add it to a well-greased uh, pan that's oven safe. I like to use a spider strainer to get that out. That way the pasta stays nice and moist. Now you can add in your truffle mushroom puree. You can get this online. It's relatively inexpensive and is absolutely delicious. Once you get that all whisked in and incorporated, you've got a wonderful creamy mixture. You want to pour that over your pasta. Make sure you get it into every little bit of that pasta, otherwise it's going to dry out on you in the oven. So on the bottom, on the sides, everywhere, make sure you get it mixed in nice and good. Add a little extra Parmesan on the top, some panko breadcrumbs to make it nice and crispy, and stick it in your 400 degree preheated oven for about 20 minutes or until the top is golden brown. Then it'll be ready to serve to your friends and they are going to be so excited.